Hi everyone, John here, All Miniatures Great and Small, and today we're doing another British unboxing. This time we're looking at the Daimler Armored Car Troop, four vehicles for the British for late war. So, um, I like this set, these tanks, or these cars, armored cars, I think just look so cute. Um, and we finally get these kits in plastic. Um, they've been, you know, in resin for a while, but, uh, you know, I think that looks really nice. So, um, on the back, we have two Dahmer armored cars, two dingoes, and one unit card. And then we can see the built example is a little bit closer here. You got the Dahmer, got the dingo, and you got the little John adapter, which is cool. And then you have the assembly instructions. Quite a bit of assembly here for that Dahmer. Uh, for such a small vehicle, but nothing too crazy. All right, let's open it up and check it out Cool, this is packed by Isa or Isa, thank you All right <clears throat> so We've got the unit card. We'll look at that in a minute. We've got your standard British tank commanders vehicle commanders sprue and then two sprues. Each sprue has one of each. These are identical, so we'll just take a look at one. Look at the detail there on the sides of the Dolmer. Lots of fun pieces. And then you've got the dingo. Machine gun. Oh, there's the extra tire for the side. Very cool. So there you go, that's the plastic you've got. Let's take a look at the cards now. Or you get a single card. So you get the Dahmer Armored Car Troop. Let's look at the back first. You can, and I think this is out of the um, generic late war book. I don't think this is D-Day, but <clears throat> could be could be the same. You can take two Dahmlers and a Dingo for two points, or uh, all four of them for three points. So they're not uh, particularly expensive. They're, they're a typical recon element. You know, I think any uh, good force in Flames of War needs to have some some element of recon for those missions where um, things like spearhead come into effect and this gives you that spearhead option plus being able to zip down a road going 36 inches is uh, can be pretty helpful uh, you know these could go artillery hunting and stuff like that they could always sneak behind and capture the objective uh, so I guess both of these guys have Uh, the same stats, it looks like. So, not bad. You have the Little John adapter, which gives you no HE, but it doesn't increase your anti tank to 8. But the two pounders. It's good. It is overworked, so that means it's plus one to hit if you try to fire it on the move. But otherwise, it's pretty good. So there you go. Again, uh, we're looking at a lot of these British because uh, we decided that um, you know Jake wanted to flesh out his British again and have a force where he could have uh, some units to pick and choose from. And obviously, the Dahmer is uh, uh, going to be one of those important units. So, there you go guys, that's a look at the plastic Dahmer Armored Car Troop 
Very cool little models. Looking forward to seeing them on the table. I think the it's just a cutest little thing. Um, you tack some googly eyes on there. I think it'd be cool. Um, and you're good to go. So there you go. If you like these uh, kinds of quick looks and unboxings, please let us know down in the comments below. If you uh, play the British, what are your experience with these guys? Any tips or tricks you guys want to share with us? We're more than willing to listen. We love having those kinds of conversations. Uh, please do consider giving us a like and subscribe. Click that bell to receive notification when we publish new content. You can also check us out on Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. And if you want more Flames of War, check out our Patreon. I'll leave a link in the video description below where you can get access to an exclusive battle report every month that is just for our patrons. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and keep on working.